Hey everyone, it's Tanya Move Deeply. In this video, we're going to be doing a nice sequence that combines some somatic exercises with uh, a little bit of restorative at the end, just to help open up the upper body and reduce tension in the neck and shoulder area. So it's gonna be really nice for reducing tension if you're doing a lot of desk work. And um, hopefully you'll feel uh, really good after. So if you like this video, then be sure to head over to my channel and subscribe as I've got plenty more that come up regularly. And uh, you can also go over to movedeeply.com to learn more about somatic movement and check out my other offerings uh, with membership and courses that I also have. So with that, uh, get something comfortable. Uh, you can have an optional bolster if you like or a couple of bed pillows to stack and um, a yoga mat and we'll get started. So we're going to start lying down and just bring yourself slowly down to the floor on your back and make sure your shoulders are away from your ears, you're feeling fairly comfortable and just notice how your body's feeling against the floor, starting with your feet. And gradually moving your awareness up your legs. Noticing if your muscles feel tight at all in your legs. Maybe one side feels tighter than the other. And then moving up it to your hips and your lower back. Seeing how you're feeling there. Just noticing how it is uh, in relationship to the floor, like whether it's um, raised up or feels tight and maybe a little far away from the floor, or maybe it's feeling pretty good in your low back. Perhaps one hip is tight, feeling tighter than the other. And then moving up into your belly and your chest, your upper back, just taking note of any sensations or tension there. And then up into your shoulders, your neck, your jaw, your face muscles, especially since we're going to work on this area, just really notice how you're feeling there so we can compare afterwards. So now we're going to just start a short breathing exercise. So bring your hands to your belly and bring your slide your feet along the mat to bend your knees. And we're going to do just a couple of deep belly breaths here to start. So inhaling through your nose, fill your belly, let your hands rise. And exhale through the mouth. Again, inhale through your nose. And exhale through the mouth. Now make an O shape with your lips and make sure your head isn't neutral. So just um, tuck your chin slightly if you feel that it's reaching up. Just wanna make sure we're keeping our airway neutral and open. So make an O shape with your mouth and we're going to sip through an imaginary straw as we inhale. Feel the expansion through your entire torso, working the intercostal muscles, opening them up. Hold it there for a moment and then exhale and hiss like a snake. As you do this, just keep going and notice how your abdominals are starting to gently contract. And these are your support muscles that really keep your posture good and 
help to control your breathing. So we want to make sure we keep those in practice and this breathing exercise is great for that. So now we'll take another inhale through our imaginary straw. Try to lengthen your spine a little here, reaching along the floor, and then on your exhale, try to maintain that length as you hiss. Go as long as you can until you can't go anymore, and just feel that contraction again through your abdominals. And relax for a moment. Make that O shape with your lips, and we'll sip through the imaginary straw one more time. And then hiss to exhale. Gentle, but still powerful. Keep going all the way out. And then when you get to the end of your hiss, just hold it there for a moment and really bring your awareness to the contraction in your lower belly. And then release and relax and breathe normally. And then we're going to um, just bring some awareness to our upper back muscles, which can often get um, underworked or overstretched as we sit in our desks and round forward uh, gradually. So bring your hands just above your shoulders and your arms are extended and then you'll start to plug your shoulder, backs of your shoulders into the floor here. Try to keep your spine at neutral and then gradually bring your upper arms into the floor and now gently press into the upper arms and your elbows and try to keep your upper back still pressing to the floor. Just notice this activation through the upper back muscles. This is a good one to do just if you need to take a break from your desk, just uh, try a few sip and hiss breaths and then do this uh, exercise with a little bit of pressure to activate your muscles and try to counter some of that rounding that happens when we're sitting. And now we'll slowly bring our hands to the mat, keep pressing your arms into the floor, from your shoulders down to your fingers, and try to keep your spine at neutral here. And then gradually let that relax. And just notice how the back of your body is feeling. So we're going to do a little arch and flatten warm up as we usually do, just to relax the spine and the abdominal muscles and um, try to bring our spine back to its most neutral position as it does get out of that position as we go through our day. So we're going to Bring awareness to the belly and the spine here. And on your inhale, slowly start to roll onto your tailbone, arching your back gently away from the floor. Just enough space so that you can slide your hand underneath if you tried. And then slowly let your muscles relax and come back down with gravity. And then exhale, slowly press your back into the floor, just a gentle movement to flatten and get rid of all that space between your spine and the floor. You should feel activation through your lower abdominals here. Imagine hollowing out your belly. And then slowly let that return to neutral, just let gravity bring you back there. And then inhale, come into that arch. Exhale, slowly release. And when you're in neutral, come into your flatten. Flatten the back against the mat. Let the rest of your body relax and just move with your spine. Slowly coming back to neutral. Inhale, come into your arch. 
slowly release. And then flatten. Gradually come back to neutral. And we'll take one more inhale to arch. Slowly return. Exhale to flatten. And slowly return. And just relax and slide your feet out here. Extend your legs and notice how your back is feeling gets the mat. It may have changed a little from when we started. And just glide your feet back in and we will do an exercise here to help release the chest muscles. So interlace your fingers behind your head and bring your awareness to your pectorals. That's the muscles just um, above your uh, breast and chest area. And slowly start to bring your elbows in towards each other and squeeze them together as close as you can. Feel that contraction of your muscles in your chest. And now we're going to slowly open our elbows back out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly open them up. Let them relax. And we'll do that again. Gradually bring them in and squeeze together just as close as you can. Make it a little closer this time and then slowly open to that kind of eight. You can count on your head this time. It's really important to stay slow and steady with these exercises to trigger uh, that response with the ner nervous system to release the tension in the muscles once you relax. Completely relax at the bottom. Your elbows might be closer to the floor, or you might just feel like your chest is a little less tight. And then slowly bring the elbows back in again one more time. Squeeze. And slowly let them open. And relax. And now we're going to roll over onto our stomachs and do a round of the, um, a version of the back lift. So lie on your stomach with your hand on your left hand up towards your face and just rest your right cheek on the floor and your left elbow is in line with your shoulder. So your hand should be about 45 uh, or your forearm should be about 45 from your elbow. And now you're just going to focus on the left arm here and uh, just keep your right arm relaxed alongside your body. And now with your hand, left hand on the floor, slowly lift your left elbow up as high as you can comfortably. Close your eyes and really sense the muscles that are activating here around your upper back and neck. And then slowly with control, Release back down to the floor for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and completely relax. And then slowly bring it up again. Notice how it Feels all through that range of motion, and then gradually release again back to the floor to that kind of eight. And completely relax. So this is targeting uh, the upper trapezius muscle in particular, and this gets quite tight when we're doing a lot of desk work. So this one's really nice for releasing those muscles. 
And so now we'll just do a micro movement of that and just hover your elbow off the floor with your hand on the ground. If you got any shaking, that's perfectly normal. Just means that it's working, so your nervous system is starting to communicate and uh, relearn how to control that part of your muscles. And gradually let that release as slow as you can. Even though we're close to the ground, you can still slow it down. And then completely relax. Now keep your arm where it is, and we're going to inhale, just lift our head off the floor as high as you can without straining. You can aim to look over your left shoulder, but it's perfectly fine if you can't. And then we'll slowly lower back down for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Completely relax. And again, inhale, slowly come up with your head. Look over your left shoulder if you can. And keep your eyes closed here and pay attention to the muscles that are activating here. Slowly lower. And relax. And now we'll switch sides. So slide your right hand up to meet the left and let your left arm relax and look to your right now with your left cheek on the floor. Bring your elbow in line with your shoulder again on the side. Keep your right hand on the floor and then you'll slowly lift your right elbow off the floor. Notice if this side feels different at all, tighter or maybe not as tight as the left side. And then slowly lower for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Let yourself just melt down into the floor. And again, slowly lift. And slowly lower. If you get any shaking, try to stay in that area a little longer. And relax. And now we'll do that hover, so just come about an inch off the floor with your elbow. Notice how that feels all through your upper back and shoulder. And then slowly with control, lower that tiny little bit of movement for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Completely relax. And bring your attention to your head now, and you're going to inhale. Look over your right shoulder if you can. Don't worry about how high you get. Just close your eyes and lift up as high as you can without straining. And then slowly lower for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and completely relax. The more you do these exercises, the more range of motion you'll start to get. So, um, unlike conventional stretching, you can actually get more flexible and more range of motion when you practice these more active methods of movement versus passive pulling of your muscles, which can actually injure you or trigger um, a reflex response, which doesn't actually get you anywhere in terms of finding more length. I have a post about that on my blog, so you can always head over there to read more about stretching versus uh, somatics. Anyways, um, let's do one more round of looking over our shoulder. Inhale to come up. And noticing if the side does feel different than the left, and slowly lower down. And completely relax.
And then we'll bring ourselves back onto our back. Extend your legs and just notice how your body is feeling here. And you can either stay here for a last restorative pose and you can just relax in this Shavasana position. Or you can grab your prop and do a nice heart opener. So if you've got a bolster or pillows, just lay them lengthwise along the center of your mat and slide your bum up against the base of the pillows. You want to make sure you have enough length to support your entire torso. So gradually come back. Make sure your head is also supported and you can either extend your legs if that's comfortable. Just be mindful of your low back if that feels like too much. You can also just find another pillow to put under your knees or bring your knees together with your legs bent. So I practice this one a lot in many of my videos, as you've probably noticed if you've been following me for a bit. And I hope you'll agree it's just a really great one to counter the effects of day-to-day -day movement that often has us in the opposite position, rounding forward. You can really bring a nice sense of energy and peace with just a couple of minutes of being in this position. So let's take a nice deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Allow yourself to completely surrender and enjoy this last few moments of time just for you to nourish your mind and body. Give yourself permission to be here and just do nothing. Just notice if you can relax further anywhere in your body. You can use the breath to get you there. And we're going to be here for just a couple of minutes. So be sure to feel that you're supported enough so that you can completely enjoy and relax. And if you are on the prop and you just feel you don't want to be anymore, you're welcome to gently come off of it anytime. Relax your jaw and your face muscles. Let your shoulders sink down into the prop. Now slowly start to deepen your breath. Gradually bring a bit of movement into your toes and fingers. And when you're ready, slowly roll over onto one side, carefully off your prop. Just move that prop out of the way. Take one more moment here, curl up on your side. Enjoy this peaceful feeling that you've cultivated in yourself. And then gradually press yourself up to seated. Close your eyes and again notice how you're feeling. 
give yourself a big thank you for taking this time out for yourself to rejuvenate your body and everything you practice today has been retraining your nervous system to undo some of those habitual movements that we just tend to do without thinking that can get us into positions of tension and pain. So the more you practice these types of exercises, uh, the better you're going to start feeling. And if you want more of this, there is a longer version that incorporates a few more exercises to release tension even further through the upper body. And you can find that in my membership portal through movedeeply.com, just uh, in my services section. And you can start a 10 day free trial and see all the other videos in there and the live feeds and recordings that I have to offer. So until next time, keep moving deeply and take care. Mm -hmm.